Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Warships Blitz with Terry. Today I'm going to talk about something relatively basic but something that is very very important and that is how to aim your guns. Now I'm using some black Bayern footage here because we're specifically looking at battleship guns and the reason for that is that uh, battleship guns while doing a lot of damage have a very long reload, the longest in the game for, for guns usually around 20 seconds. So that means every 20 seconds you get to pull the trigger and fire your guns. And if you miss, well, then you have to wait 20 seconds until you can try again. Whereas if you fire, have something that fires a lot quicker, like um, cruiser guns or rapid firing destroyer guns, it doesn't matter so much if you miss a couple of shots because you get another salvo in four, five, six seconds to go. So while we're waiting for targets to appear, um, battleship guns. They have, have a very long range and they do a lot of damage, but again, you have to actually make sure that they get on target. Now, this is a top tier battle and we're about to see our first, uh, our first target popping up uh, over there. And there she is, that's the Giulio Cesare. Now, where am I aiming my guns? So first of all, um, you're gonna have to aim at the point, not at the ship that you're shooting at. You have to aim at the point where the ship that you're shooting at is going to be by the time the shells land, because the shells have flight time. So you, it's not about, this is, this is very important, it's not about actually aiming at the ship, it's about aiming at the point where the ship's gonna be. So there's a matter of prediction where the enemy ship's gonna sail, which means we have to, we have to think about uh, what speed the enemy ship's going, and what course it's going to take. Now, talking about the speed, there are, well, there are two ways of really determining this. One of them is you know how fast ships go around your tier, usually, and if you don't, then it's a good it's a good statistic to learn, either because you've played them yourself or because you've looked things up. Uh, battleships, um, good rule of thumb is if they're American under tier 8, they are very slow. Everything else tends to be a little bit quicker than that. Uh, but uh, the Giulio Cesare is a relatively fast battleship, and we know so we know what we know how, how fast she goes. I think it's around twenty-five knots or something, and we know where she goes because first of all we know that she's going forward because if we're looking at the smoke, we're seeing that the smoke is trailing. So the more the smoke tra trails, the faster the ship is going forward, which makes sense, right? Because you know, ship moves, wind blows, smoke trails. The second thing that we know is that she is not sailing parallel to where I'm aiming. So you see that you see that line here, um, kind of left and right of my crosshairs. Uh, the, you can see it on the screen itself, but you can much better even still see it on the minimap. You see that the Cesare is heading towards the corner of that island there. So I do I need to aim a little bit closer to myself. Than to where the uh, to the, than where the ship currently is because she's sailing towards me. So by the time the shells are going to land in some form of elliptical area around where I'm pointing at, the ship's going to be closer. So if I was going to align that aiming line with the ship, my shells would all miss. So let's let's see how that shot goes. Shot is going out, and uh, the Cesare goes unspotted for a moment, but um, we do manage to land three hits on target. So, again, this is what I'm saying. This is, it, is, it is important to get shots on target with battleship guns. And here we are shooting at the same Cesare, but now we're shooting at her at 8 kilometer range. So, again, two things. She is sailing still full speed and uh, sailing very, pretty much directly towards me. So, again, we do need to, to set our shots add ahead of the ship but not as much ahead because she is closer so the shots are not going to take that long to get there and um, again she's a relatively quick ship so I'm aiming kind of just ahead of the bow at this point you could imagine if, if you imagine a line 
just along the keel of the ship and extending forwards. That's kind of the line that you want to go for, go with. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but we'll get to that in a second. So let's see how these shots go. So I'm getting my, fo my, gun my forward guns out and we see that she's in a turn because she is dodging torpedoes or trying to dodge torpedoes. So now that I'm firing my rear guns, I'm aiming a little higher. And the reason for that is that she is probably in a hard right turn at this point, trying to dodge the Furutaka torpedoes. So it does help to put yourself into the mind of the enemy ship and saying, what is this ship currently doing? So let's see how those sh shots are going. She's running into the Furutaka torps, but I do get all my four shots on target. Now, uh, keep going forward and again I'm aiming slightly higher because she is still in a full right turn and uh, we'll, we'll see what she's doing because she is a bottom tier battleship she's probably going to turn away from me so I am putting my shots I, I'm leading my shots somewhat higher just in in order to and she's almost out of my secondary range but yeah my main guns are off, are off cooldown again so I'm, I'm putting my shots higher and you see she's in a she's in a hard right turn so I'm still getting two shots on target now, now my rear turrets are coming back online. And I could, th right now, the Cesare is sailing, if, if I was just looking at it at this split second, she's stra sailing straight away from me. But she's not gonna continue sailing straight away from me because there's nothing there. This is an island, it's the edge of the map. Most likely she's going to continue throughout the turn to get some distance between her and myself. And that means I need to aim slightly to the right of the ship, because by the time my shots are going to be there, uh, she's going to go in a turn. So let's see how this goes. I'm aiming to the right and shots are out. Also, the ship is slower in the turn. And again, we get two shots on target. And now she's sailing straight. So I'm again a um, straightening out my aim. And I get another three shots on target. Now she stopped shooting at me and is opening up the distance. So I'm just kind of looking around, seeing if there's another important target and then giving chase. And then again here, um, where, where is she going? It looks like, well, she's on low health. So either she's gonna dodge or she's gonna try and turn and get some get her turrets around to at least get some, some, fire, uh, some fire back at me. So I'm aiming lower, uh, just almost at the waterline waiting for her to, um, to to even out the course. And there she stays the course now. So these shots are, are probably going to land a couple more. There are two more hits. And um, again, she is in a turn. She's in a hard right turn now. So I need to aim lower. And then now she's straightened up again. So I'm going to fire at this. And uh, you, 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 if you observe your shots, you've seen that mine are starting to fall a little bit short. So I do need to um, to aim. I would have to lead a little bit more, but she's now dead. So um, it's it's not a it's not a huge deal anymore. So some minutes later, I have a target at the extreme of my range. And there's the kamikaze. Now, what what is what is the kamikaze likely to do? Well, it's difficult to predict because first of all, it's a destroyer. But as you can see, the kamikaze is getting shot at. So. Can he turn? Can he turn right? Not really, because then he's gonna go straight into an island. He could turn left, but then he would be giving broadside to a battleship. So I'm thinking there's a good chance that this kamikaze is going to sail straight ahead. So I am a kamikaze as a destroyer is a much much faster ship than than a battleship. So I'm aiming straight at the line. You see, as you see, the ship is sitting on the aiming line, and I'm giving my target a lot more lead than I would for, for a slower ship, because while I'm shooting at 11 kilometers range, similar to what the Cesare uh, that I was earlier firing at was was, um, was sailing, the Kamikaze is faster. So I'm, I'm getting those shots out and the Kamikaze has taken a lot of damage, but he can't turn right, he could turn left. And I think he is turning a bit left a bit, but he's still, uh, he's still getting, he's still taking two of my shots. And as I mentioned, uh, this, this, uh, the Black Bayern is actually uh, very good at uh, penetrating destroyers at long ranges. Now, at this stage, there's an enemy Emerald coming around and the Emerald is sailing in a straight line. So I am firing uh, predictive shots straight ahead. Uh, I know that the Emerald has torpedoes, so I do need to watch out a little bit, but um, which is why I'm putting the ship in reverse. Now, at, at this point, he's starting to turn and I'm firing 
but he is already turning so I should have actually and you see most of my shots have missed I should have um, aimed towards where he was going to be now he's turning out so I'm leading my sh my secondary shots uh, down that direction and now he's giving me flat broadside so I'm but he is in the full turn so I'm aiming a little bit higher but I don't get to actually kill him anymore because the New Mexico actually takes the ship out so um, and there come as predicted the Emerald tor Torpedoes so th this is this is something that requires practice you do need to um, you do need to learn how fast your, your guns are going and you do need to kind of um, get an idea about where enemy ships are going. So like for example at Omaha I'm firing at, uh, the Omaha is faster. So I, I actually am not leading enough. I would need a little bit more and now I'm adjusting my aim. And just to get, uh, to get the shots on target and I get two hits on target pretty much in the center. Because it's a, it's a cruiser, I want to hit her in the center. Now she's turning again, so my these shots are going to miss. Um, we'll be talking about the dodging of sh of shots as well at some point. But uh, for now, this is something you really need to practice with your ship and with your guns. You need to get a feel for the guns, how they are reacting. And if you're not certain in a battleship and you're just practicing, it can't hurt to use a single turret first for a ranging shot. So if you think you've got the right, um, you've got the right lead, then um, send one shot out with the first turret, see where it lands, and then adjust for the rest of the salvo. This is something you can do uh, if you're not sure of, or just just generally fire the targets, the, the the turrets in in single sequence rather than doing the double tap full salvo fire, because then you can adjust your aim between. Uh, between your, your your turrets, between the shots, and you're not ne you're not necessarily wasting the co complete salvo if you're not sure. So that's a good that's a good way of practicing. Um, and yeah, keep in mind, you're not shooting at the ship, but you're shooting at the point where you think the ship's going to be when the shells land. So give it a second or two, and try to try to put yourself into the enemy's shoes and think where are they going to turn what are they going to do what would you do in their situation are you in a in a torpedo boat are you trying to get torpedoes away it's most likely going to turn and um try to you know send send torpedoes out um you can wait for example if a if a ship goes into a turn and um you you see that they're in the turn and you're waiting for them to give you the biggest and flattest possible target for a good broadside salvo these are all sort of things that you can do uh, to ensure that your shots as much as possible are landing on target. That's it for today. Thanks everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye.